Okay, so we must start with diving into the Amazon interface and introduce the key elements that you're going to be looking for when you start implementing the search phase. The good news is that this is very, very simple and will only take us a couple of minutes to introduce to you. Here's a list of things that you're going to find and in many cases input into your 4S product process spreadsheet. Okay, so first we're going to show you how to find and search Amazon departments. Within departments, you're going to be locating and diving deep into Amazon product categories. These categories will be something you become extremely familiar with. Within product categories, you're going to be using the top 100 best sellers in each category. This is always where we begin our process before diving deeper into what we call subcategories and sub subcategories. The deeper we research, the more hidden gems we'll find. So when we find a listing that we're interested in within a product category, you're going to learn how to find product titles, as well as how to identify the brand name of a product. We'll then look at the retail and sales price of an item, as well as I'll show you where to find the seller name and type of seller they are. We'll then identify product bullet points, product images, product reviews, and discuss the buy box, as well as show you where to find ASINs or ASINs and BSRs. Don't worry if you don't know exactly what everything means right now. It'll all become very clear in a moment. Now here we are in Amazon.com. This is the US website for Amazon. So what I want to do is show you how we start our research. Now the first thing that you need to know is departments. And you find departments here. It's in the menu bar. The, the left hand side is departments. We just click on that. So in order to start our research, we're on the page that has Earth's biggest selection. All the departments are these things like Amazon Music, Subscribe with Amazon, Electronics, Luggage, and we scroll down the page and there's pet supplies, men's fashion, sports and outdoors, girls fashion, tools and home improvement, boys fashion. So I'm just gonna pick a category and here we are in home and kitchen department. I'm just gonna pick the kitchen and dining category. I just wanna show you how we start our research and the way we start our research is to we're in kitchen and dining, and so we just want to click on any product, and we'll scroll down to the middle where the product information is, in the middle of the listing here, and you'll see here we've got Amazon's bestseller rank. Now this product is actually number five in health, health and household, um, so and it's number one in paper towels. So this is what happens sometimes in Amazon. Um, we looked in kitchen and dining, but Amazon's showing us the ranking in health and household. So I really want to have a look at the kitchen and dining category. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the, the back um, arrow here so I can go back. And this is where it's weird. Amazon says it's in kitchen and dining, but um, it tells us that this is the best seller in kitchen and dining. But when we click on it, it's actually in health and household. Um, and the same with this item here, it's in, it's in health and household. Um, so this is what happens sometimes with Amazon. Um, this is a bestseller in sports and outdoors, um, these paper plates. Um, so let's have a look at this one in kitchen and dining. Um, this one I know is in kitchen and dining. We just wanna be able to scroll in. And now let's go down the page to the product information and see what this says for the bestseller rank. Okay, so you can see this, this product information is different to the last one that we had. And this product is number two in kitchen and dining. So um, what we want to do is just click on here um, where it says see top 100 in kitchen and dining. It's also number one in electric pressure cookers, but we just want to start off in the, in the top 100 category. We've got the best selling products in kitchen and dining. And if we scroll down the page, there should be 50 items on this page. We can go through and, and look at all those 50 items. And then once we've looked at all those 50 items, we're able to go through and look at items 51 to 100 on the second page. So I just wanted to show you how you get to the um, top 100 items when you're doing product research. And that's how it's done. Okay, so now 
we're actually going to go into a product listing and I'm going to show you how we record all of the information that we need to record when we're doing our product research into the product research spreadsheet that you'll get later in this in this module. So let's pick an item, we'll click on, um, let's just click on this item here. And the first thing I want to show you is the product title. Product title is something that we're going to record in our um, spreadsheet. And there's the product title there, uh, the Hopkins 05064 flow tool large funnel. That's where you find the product title. The next thing we want to look for when we're doing our research is the brand name. And you'll see the brand name here is underneath. It's called flow tool. Sometimes the brand name might be just above the title. Um, but normally it's a clickable link like this and you can click on it and do some research into that particular brand name. The next thing we want to look at is the price. Now, this particular product here is priced at $1.10. It's obviously way too cheap. We would never sell a product at that price. But you'll have um, two prices sometimes. You'll have a price above that's crossed out sometimes. And then here um, we have the actual price. Let me go back and I'll find another, another listing that shows um, a bit of a variation. So let's, let's go to a more expensive listing like um, this one here, which is a, some cookware. So again, there's the, the product title there. And here's the brand name here, Calphalon. Now here's the example of the price. You've got the list price that's crossed out. You'll often see that. And then underneath is the sale price, which is $59.99. Now when we're recording on our spreadsheet, if there's any shipping, we'll also record the shipping here as well. Um, the next thing we want are the bullet points. And the bullet points are here, one, two, three, four, five. Here are the bullet points in this area. And the next thing we want to look at is the product images. So you've got a big product image here. And if there's multiple product images, they're in, the, in a line down here. And you can see as you hover the mouse over, you see a whole bunch of different images. And um, that's where we find the product images. Now we want to look also record reviews when we're doing our research. And so over here underneath the product title, this product has 3,824 customer reviews. Um, there are all the stars for the different reviews there. We can click on this link and it'll scroll down to where all the view, reviews are down the page. Um, the buy box is the next thing. So you want to know about the buy box. This is our buy box here and it looks like this buy box only has the one um, seller. This says ships from and sold by Amazon in easy to open packaging. Um, so this is actually um, sold by Amazon. Um, this particular product is actually not sold by a, a third party. I think I was um, looking down here, um, but over here is where we, where we find the seller name and type and also it's in the buy box. It can change from, from listing to listing. So sometimes it might be over here, other times you might have to look for the seller name and type over here. So this one's actually being shipped from and sold by Amazon. So they actually have what's called the buy box, which is this box here. Now, the last two things that we want to record when we're doing our product research is what's called the ASIN, the ASIN. And um, you'll scroll down the page here and you can see that the ASIN is in the product information area. So here's our product information area here. And the ASIN is just here. So that's the number that you record when you're doing product research so we can locate the product again. And the BSR just stands for best seller rank. And this particular product is number 96 in kitchen and dining. So that's the top category that we would record in our spreadsheet. We don't record any subcategories, which is omelette pans, or any sub-subcategories, um, like we've got woks and stir-fry pans here. So we're only interested in recording the top category when we're doing our product research. So that's it. I've shown you everything that we need to um, record when we're doing our product research. I've shown you how you find the different departments um, in Amazon, and I've also shown you um, within the departments how you find the, the different primary categories, and then how we record all the different items in our spreadsheet. And that's it for this video.